and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here for the first time then welcome my name is Trina Louise and over here on this channel we do all things plus size fashion and beauty. If you're not new here you might notice that I'm in a little bit of a different location to normal. Um, I am in the same room I'm just on the sofa bed on the other side. This is a bit of a sneak peek really because I have been redoing my filming room a little bit and there is a vlog coming that shows me building furniture, putting these, well, Adam putting these lights up, rearranging things. So that is coming, but I felt like today I just wanted to sit down here. It's hot. I didn't want to be so formal. I thought I could just sit down here, have a chat and use my new fairy lights. So it's a bit of a sneak peek for you. So for today's video, I thought we'd do something just a little bit different. I had ordered some clothes that were meant to be coming today, but they didn't arrive on time. So I thought I, it would give me the opportunity to do something that you guys have been asking for for a while which is showing you how I would style some of my clothes and combining that with an idea that I've had for a while which was to feature my most favourite recent purchases or gifted items of clothes. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity to do that. So what I've done is I've taken a couple of clips of me wearing uh, the five items that I'm going to show you. Some of them I've dressed with a jacket, I've paired a bag with all of them and I've put some shoes on so that I can give you a bit of an idea about how I would actually wear the clothes. And I'm going to have a bit of a chat with you about why I love the item, I'll remind you where I've got it from because you'll have seen it all in recent clothing calls and I'll include all links down below in that case there's anything that you're interested in. Before I get started though I just wanted to have a, a little bit of a quick chat with you. For the past couple of months probably since February March I have been uploading a clothing haul without fail every single weekend and for the majority of that time I've been premiering it which I absolutely love because I love getting to chat with you guys I really look forward to my Saturday nights. But I am getting a little bit burnt out with buying clothes constantly, if I'm completely honest. It's got to a point now where I've got so many amazing clothes that having to buy them every single week is getting a little bit draining because I'm not getting as excited, if that makes sense. And the whole reason I started this channel is because it is harder to find plus size clothes. So I'm getting to a point where I'm like, I've done all the brands that I like to do. What am I gonna do this week? And I'm starting to run out of brands and clothes to buy. So my plan is going forward, I am going to be doing a clothing haul once a fortnight rather than once a week. There will be occasions where say I'm working with a brand uh, that I do do them sort of twice in a fortnight but on the regular it's going to be a clothing haul once a fortnight I will continue to premiere it where I can and then for the alternative alternated weekends I'm going to do something a bit different maybe something like this showing you how I would style the clothes uh maybe looking at uh, like I've got some clothes that need altering so maybe we could do that maybe I could have a video where my friends dress me or my sister dresses me just different fashion related content that's going to give me a bit more time to be creative for you guys with what I do with the clothes rather than just buying them trying them on and putting them in the wardrobe and also it means that I don't have to constantly keep buying clothes because I have a lot now and it is getting a little bit I don't know what the right word is but I'm just not as excited about buying clothes because I'm doing it every single week. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. I'm still going to be pumping out the same amount of content and I have so many ideas that I just haven't really had the time and energy to do. And the other reason is that for a good couple of months I was furloughed from my last job so I had all the time in the world to do YouTube, which was amazing, but I am now working full time again, which means I don't have as much time and clothing hauls take up pretty much a whole Saturday to film for you because I've got to um, in advance find the clothes, I've got to try on them, I've got to edit, upload, it's a, it's a big job. So I'm not really making other videos that I really wanna make for you guys and I've got so many amazing ideas, um, but I just don't have the time and energy to do as much as I was doing when I was furloughed. So all that being said, the point of this is I still love fashion hauls. I'm going to continue doing them just probably fortnightly rather than weekly. Still going to premiere where I can. But as we saw last weekend, I had a family barbecue. The world is opening up again. So there might be occasions here and there where I can't do a premiere. But wherever I can, I always will because I love it. So I think I've got my point across. I hope you understand. And yeah, it's not to say that I don't love what I'm doing because I really, really do. It's just I want to put a bit of variety in for me and for you and 
also there's only so many clothes and money in the world <laughs> that I can spend on buying clothes every single week and I want to get excited again I want to be looking forward to buying new clothes so I hope that all makes sense and without further rambling because this has been the longest intro ever why don't we get on and I can show you some of my most favorite recent purchases slash gifted items <laughs> So I'm just moving to the side so I can put a clip of me trying on the items here. But the first item is an item that surprised me, really, really surprised me. And if you saw the video, you will remember <laughs> how surprised I was that I not only liked this item, but kept it and loved it and have worn it quite a lot. And it is these trousers. Now, these trousers are from ASOS. I will link everything down below. But trousers are really, really new to me. Until recently, I had one pair of jeans that were ripped and I didn't wear. <laughs> um, I have recently picked up a couple of pairs of jeans and these trousers, which I love. I have never felt comfortable in trousers. I never felt they suited me. I've always been really self-conscious about showing my stomach, but I'm getting so much more comfortable with it, um, with your guys' help, to be honest. So I was so surprised when I loved these trousers, but guys, they are so comfy, cozy, and cool in the summer. They're so freeing and flowy, and they're just so jazzy and fun and colorful. So I love them. Ignore that I'm wearing a white t-shirt with a black bra because, you know, <laughs> it's hot and I didn't quite think that bit through. My brain wasn't working properly to re think, hmm, black shows through white. Uh, so I wouldn't wear a black bra, but I have been wearing these with just a plain white t-shirt. For shoes, I was tossing up between a white pair of trainers and these little brown um, sort of sandal heels that I've got on, mainly because I would probably wear them with white trainers, but my white trainers are ruined. They got dirty and I tried putting them through the wash to fix them, but it just like ripped up the shoelaces and didn't clean up any of the, um, it was sand that <laughs> had made them dirty. So I'm looking for some new white trainers to replace um, those ones with. But I thought this also looked really cute with these brown sort of chunky sandal heels. I thought it dressed it up a little bit while still being quite comfy, cozy, casual. Now the bag that I paired these trousers with is this black backpack and it's got a kind of like snake print faux leather kind of look. Obviously I'm showing you here in the clip but I thought I'd bring the bag up a bit closer for you so that you can see but I just thought it needed a reasonably simple but sort of sophisticated bag to not clash with any of the colour and I love this backpack. I just think it looks so sleek and smart but really really cute at the same time. So I thought it looks really cute with this bag and I live for backpacks. I am all about making things as easy and stress-free as possible and I hate sort of having big bags that I have to hold and my hands aren't free so you'll notice with all the bags that I have they allow me to have my hands free <laughs> it's a bit of a theme um, but I thought this looked really really cute so I am in love with this outfit I'm wearing it constantly I think I've got a picture up on my Instagram which I'll include for you here uh, but yeah absolutely love this outfit I almost forgot <laughs> I also paired this outfit with a denim jacket. Now, I love this denim jacket. It's just so sort of, it's not oversized because I can't close it up, but when I've got it open, it feels really oversized and comfy. And I just think it looks so, so cute with the white top and with the trousers. So I think if I was gonna be wearing this outfit on a day where it wasn't sweltering, <laughs> uh, I would probably wear this jacket with it because I just think it finishes off the outfit and looks super, super cute. So this next outfit is another thing that really took me by surprise. There's a bit of a theme in my most recent purchases that I've been trying some things that are a bit different for me, things that have surprised me and things that I wouldn't have kept six months ago or even three months ago. And this item is this gorgeous, gorgeous black skirt. Now I bought this a long time ago, like maybe like October, November last year. I'll see if I can find the clip actually. Um, I might swap the clips over just so you can see, but I bought it and I was still quite uncomfortable with myself and I sent it back because I just didn't feel confident. Flast, flast forward, fast forward to a couple of weeks ago when I tried it again, I fell in love with it. I just think it's so cute, it's so flattering. I love that it's like black and simple and sophisticated but got a really fun pattern on. I think it looks really cute 
with a black top. I've got it on with a black t-shirt here, but I'm getting a couple of um, more interesting black tops that I think will look really cute with it. Again, I wore this in an Instagram picture, which you guys really, really liked, and it went down so, so well. So thank you so much if you've supported me with this photo because it got quite a few likes on it. So that was really pleasing. Um, so I really appreciated that. But yeah, I think that this outfit looks so, so cute. And I've paired it with some chunky leather look boots that are lace up that I wore in the Instagram photo because I just think it looks so cute and sophisticated and just amazing. I love this outfit and I cannot wait to go out drinking in this outfit. I think it's going to look so good at the bar with a cocktail or two in my hands. <laughs> In terms of the bag, I styled it with this little black bag from Fashion Nova. It's got a really <laughs> noisy strap on it. Can you see? It's like the plastic with the sort of metal chain. So it's really noisy. So I'm going to try and keep that still. But I just thought it looked quite nice, keeping with the theme of being all black. Um, I thought this bag looked really good with it. And then I did play with colour a little bit with the jacket. I put on this pink leather jacket from Fashion Nova again, uh, just because I thought it just added a bit more colour and a bit more fun with the jacket. But again, in summer, I wouldn't be wearing it and I couldn't wait to take it off because I was like sweltering. But I love, love, love this pink leather jacket and I think it just brought the outfit together perfectly if I say so myself. The next item is something that's much more me, much more predictable, a little bit less out there for me and it is this gorgeous, gorgeous flowery dress from Simply Be. When I tried this on I was a little bit uncertain because it felt a bit big on me but the more I've worn it and played with it the more I've fallen in love with everything about it, the colour, the length, the fit, everything. I do uh, alternate this dress with wearing different belts with it, it looks really really cute with the belt but today I'm just wearing it free and flowing and breezy because as I mentioned it's hot today <laughs> but I am obsessed with this dress, I love it so so much, it's my favourite dress of my recent purchases so I had to include this here because it is gorgeous. I didn't pair this one with a jacket if I was going to wear this one with a jacket, I'd wear a black leather jacket with it, but mine is not here. <laughs> so I couldn't show you uh, the it with the leather jacket, but if I was going to wear a coat or a jacket, that is what I would pair it with. Now for shoes, I have got some black sandal chunky heels. You might recognise them from the first try and clip because yes, I have the same pair of shoes in two colours. <laughs> I think we've talked about this before. I do end up buying the same things in different colours if I like it, whether I mean to or not. A lot of times when I'm doing clothing hauls, I've accidentally bought the same item in different colours. Uh, but I just thought they looked really simple and sophisticated um, so as to not clash with any colour in the dress. And then for bags, this is another Fashion Nova special. Uh, I thought the white in this bag went really, really nicely with the dress. It's just got a gold chain and it's quite nice and spacious, but I just thought it looked really good with the dress and again, didn't clash or interfere with any of the colors. So I thought this would be the perfect bag to go with this outfit. And I haven't had the chance to wear this outfit outside the house yet and I am waiting for the day because I think this is an amazing outfit and I feel wonderful in it. So absolutely had to include this dress. So the next item is another dress and it's another dress that I am in love with and it is perfect for summer and it's this gorgeous daisy dress. Now, if you remember my most recent Shein haul, I was very, very excited. In fact, I think I might have done an embarrassing little dance. And if I did, I'll include the clip here. <laughs> but I love, love, love this dress. It's quite simple, but also fun. I love the little frill detailing. I love the length. I just love it. I do have an Instagram picture in this as well. So I'll pop that up here so you can see it in real life. So for shoes, I've just paired this dress with these shoes that I got in last weekend's Yours Haul. <laughs> That's quite hard to say. They are just some black sandals with a bit of a strap on the back and a little bit of a heel but you could dress this up with some higher heels if you want but I just thought that just something that was dressy but comfy was perfect for me. Comfort is really important for me and also I don't wear heels that often because I am super tall. I'm 5'9", five, 5'10", five, and I just find heels super uncomfortable. So realistically, I'd probably pair this dress with these shoes. Now, for a bag, I paired it with this little bag from Accessorize. It's got some beautiful 
flowers on and I'm not 100% sure that this was the perfect bag for this but I thought it definitely went it just clips open like that but I just thought it was something that was fun and cute and carried on with the flower theme but you could pair it with a white bag or a black bag if I had a yellow bag that would have been perfect just to coincide with the yellow flowers on the dress I need to get a yellow bag I'm obsessed with yellow at the moment. I definitely need to get a yellow bag, but I just thought this looked really cute with the dress. And then lastly, it is what I am wearing today. This has been the biggest surprise of all the recent surprises with clothes. I tried, liked, kept, and keep wearing a jumpsuit. That is the most foreign sentence for me to say in here because never in my life would I imagine that I would be wearing a jumpsuit. I have never owned a jumpsuit or a play suit before. I'm obsessed with them on other people. I think they look so, so cute, but I have never ever found one that I felt comfortable in. And maybe, well, no, it's definitely because I'm becoming more confident and more comfortable, but also I managed to find this one, which was quite, baggy fitting on the stomach. I did size up which has helped with having more material just to help me feel a bit more uh, confident with the stomach area. I think because I am quite tall and have a long torso and carry so much weight in my stomach, most play suits are really clingy on the stomach and make me feel like a bit of a Teletubby and have a bit of a camel toe, I'm not gonna lie, because I feel like I've got a front wedgie and it's just never been that comfortable because they've never been long enough to fit my torso and my stomach but because this one is a size up and it is baggy in nature anyway I feel so confident and cozy and I just feel like I look amazing in it and it has just been amazing during the hot days because my arms are free, I can get lots of air to this area and it's so baggy on the legs that I'm getting air to my legs which <laughs> if I'm wearing things on my legs I never get air to them because I live in leggings or tights so it's been really nice to have some trousers that are baggy and airy and uh, we were set outside yesterday, I think, I, yeah, I've got an Instagram picture from yesterday um, and sat inside outside in the sun and I just felt so cool and refreshed because I had so much air circulating. <laughs> but I, yeah, the point is I absolutely love this. It is from yours. I'll be linking everything down below, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I just love the pattern as well. It's just quite simple in colour but really fun in pattern so yes love this again I paired it with these black slip-on sandals from yours I would probably again switch these with some white trainers as well if I wanted to change things up but already explained that situation or you could wear some heels again like I did with the first pair of trousers I think you could really dress this up or play it down depending on what you're doing and then for bags I went for this one again I just thought I wanted something quite simple to tie in with the black and I just thought if I'm wearing this kind of thing I want something that I can just chuck on my back and go and be hands-free and comfy I think I must have said comfy a million times I normally say cute a million times <laughs> but today the word of the day has been comfy but I just thought everything tied in really nicely with this black bag so that's all the items of clothing that I wanted to show you today let me know what you think it would be great if you could tell me what your favorite item of clothing from this video was let's have a bit of a, a voting going on let's see which item of clothes wins so yeah you'll have to let me know what you thought of this video I've never done this kind of video before it's been a lot more of us just sitting down and having a chat which has actually been really nice it's nice to just sit and chat with you guys but yeah you'll have to let me know if you enjoyed this video would you like it to become a monthly feature is there anything else that's similar to this that you'd like me to do to anyone that is on the premiere with me right now hi thank you so much for for being here and chatting with me I really hope you enjoyed the video and for anyone that is new to my channel if you've liked what you've seen and you want to see more fashion plus size fashion related content and beauty related content with subscription boxes thrown in here and there please do subscribe I upload all the time and we're a really friendly bunch over here and if you've liked this video if you can give it a thumbs up it really really does help I don't know what that was <laughs> is it friends where it's like what does Ross do I can't remember. Are oh, you going to kill me in the comments? Because I can't remember the friends thing. I think it's like... 
<laughs> anyway I digress I was wrapping up this video because I've talked enough so thank you so much for watching I hope you're having a wonderful evening morning afternoon whenever you're watching this and I'll see you next time bye